Well, all right, y'all. All across the USC, Compton, Watts, Bay to LA. From on to California, from valley to valley, we represent that killer county. So if you keeping it real on your side of your town, you tune in to Gangsta Chronicles. Gangsta Chronicles, we gon' tell you how we go. Like Pinocchio, we gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Oh. Gangsta Chronicles, this is not your average show. You're now tuned into the real MC8, Big James, and Big Stale. This is strictly from the streets. Hello. We represent the James. You gonna just like that motherfucking point on your nipple, dog? You'd be like, oh, God yeah. Damn, James Fox. You know what, James, hey. if you come to. I'll take you to a dungeon so you can just look at it. Hey, I'm with it. Right? I'm, I'm with it. I'm long as it ain't got no gerbils and none of that other he shit. None of that, then I'm with it. Fuck it. I'm, I'm with everything else. Let's roll. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, you so let me ask you. Gotta keep your mind open. Yeah. Go ahead, so let me ask you, Nave. Yeah. Where can people hit you up at? What's your social media? So my Instagram is at Intel. I N T L Madam with an E in the end. Intel Madam. And uh, my Facebook is Gadoni Nives, but it's not or International Madam as well. It's like the social media. I don't do Snapchat and not really on Twitter. Okay, for sure. On my website, of course. What's your website? www.theinternationalmadam.com. Internationalmadam.com. There you go, right there. She pimping all over the world, man. Pimping all over the world, man. Y'all go pick up her book, man. It seems like it's a good read. You know, I'm definitely gonna go pick it up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you probably learn a few things in there too. For you, know what I'm saying for you, uh, for you cardboard niggas who uh don't like to experience some shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, take it from James. You know what I'm saying? You might want to experience some shit. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so let me ask you this, um. How can you tell, like, like, like? So you said Donald Trump probably like girls is like his daughter, like, like the around that age, like college age girls. I mean, he said that. Remember that he would date his own daughter if he could. He said it in an interview, and I can see that because this is the thing. I had mostly tall blondes. That's just what most of these guys likes in general, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I can see him like definitely with, with a girl like that. That's crazy, man. See, she just got, she could look at a motherfucker and tell that they just a, just a pervert. You got to be able to figure a motherfucker out when you, you know, when you're in that line of business, you got to be able to figure a motherfucker out. You know, they taste what they like, what they don't like. You'll be able to pinpoint a motherfucker when you done been around the block a few times. Uh, you can I mean, pretty much, go ahead, go ahead, you got it. Uh, I mean, the thing is this, I usually just asked, and, and my idea actually was that I'm still like working on or finishing it. I want to do like a concierge service where people can just request some freaky stuff. No animals, no children, no rape. You know what I mean? That's like the, the, the main thing. But they can request that and I will organize it for them. And it's just very expensive. So that was my idea. <laughs> because I can run it through Switzerland, which is completely legal with my accounts here. Um, so, yeah. I can actually do it all over the world and there's no money exchange. There's just upfront payment. Um, yeah, and, and that's something maybe I want to do all parties because I have too much going on already and I kind of like lost, after the last brothel I sold, I kind of lost the interest in it a little bit because the price has dropped a lot and, and I don't want to take half of 300. That's just for me, like it doesn't sound right for me, you know? So right. Yeah, the, so different stuff is just happening, especially the movie. I'm excited for that. Like that's uh, you know we're putting that. Do, do we have Do we have a timeline as far as the movie? The thing is, this I'm I'm right now in writing with some amazing writers from Hollywood. Um, so we're gonna see about that. The documentary we're gonna figure it out because a lot of people have an issue with the fact that, that I don't look at prostitution as dirty and bad. Uh, I look at it bad when it comes to violence and you know if they don't want to work, but. It's, it's, it's nothing dirty about it, you know, because a lot of women, you know, strip, maybe have sex as well for money, you know, who knows said or get married to a rich guy just for the money. And I just think that whole stigma of like women are bad who are in this line of work should just like, you know, pass by a little bit. You know what my philosophy is? When you get with somebody, you don't know what they did in their past. The only difference is them girls know what they did and they was open with it. You don't know what a woman was doing before they met you. So right, you just, right. you know what I'm saying? You just in the dark. But, right. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody done had a few skeletons at one point, you know, I'm sure. So, you know, you got to go off of what it is. And, and exactly. my girls, they use condoms. There's no way around that. Um, if you maybe have a girl that just goes out to have fun and has, uh, you know, and I don't even care about that because everyone should do whatever they want to do. But they just go out, have fun, not using protection. Um, and then the other girl makes money and uses protection. I don't know what's worse. You know, so. Yes, yeah, real stuff. Well, it's been really amazing having you on the show. We got to do this again because I'm pretty sure we just only scraped the surface. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And thank you so much for having me. I love your podcast. So definitely I always watch it. And uh, I would like to go again whenever you guys want to. Oh, you for sure. We, we definitely got you. You know what? We're going to give you a title now. You are our official sex consultant. Yeah, yes. Yes, yes, definitely. Definitely. Yes. When we got some, when we got some freaky questions, or or, or Steel or some guy want to know about some shit, or or, or James want to know about some shit, we gonna call and get. I a got it. Yeah. Hey, hey, I got a whole bunch of questions to ask. I, I, that's you what I'm what talking I'm about. So we'll pick we'll pick I, them up during during episodes when we run into some like some extra after hours shit, and then uh, we'll get into right, some of that crazy it? shit. Sure. Well, look, what we should do for the next show. We have her on with two of her girls and let her girls explain the freaky shit, the kind of shit I want to know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have them take you through, have them take you through a scenario. Oh. Hands on shit, yeah. <laughs> you me now, a submissive girl. I need to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. James, you 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 got to set it up for what you want, what kind of shit, and then we going to go through it. You're going to take you through the scenario. Maybe he has hey, I'm writing it down already. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> if she make me lick my lips, then she talking right. That's if I lick my go. lips like like L, L and shit, I'm ready to do something. Get right. to me. No, and you definitely. Know what I'm um, uh, for example, if you have an episode and people like talk about stuff, you have a question, just get me in as a consultant. Um, there you go. Much twenty four hours. That's though. what we gonna do. Sound good. Okay, we got you. We got you. We go set up a paid service. Now, this service that we setting up, y'all gonna be paid. We go set up yeah. a thing that if you want to ask her a question, you shoot the money through that cash app. Got to come through that ching ching. Come through your question, get answered. All right. So we go exactly. set that up. We we in the game now. We've been For taught sure. by the best. We've been taught by the international madam. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. There it is. We appreciate you. Thank you so much, and you guys have a beautiful day. All right, you sure. too. All right, everybody. That's another episode right. of the Gangster Chronicles. And this was our first freaky wet and wild one. You know what I'm saying? Go hit us up, OGGangsterChronicles.com. Follow us on Instagram, the Gangster Chronicles Podcast, and hit the international madam herself up. All right. And we out of here.